Hi guys, uh, good evening and welcome back. So today we'll try to understand one of the uh, most important question that uh, the challenges that we faced in our automation uh, project. So this is the uh, important interview question as well. So that is the reason. Please, please uh, pay attention to this. And also like, you know, if you like my content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel guys. So like, you know, uh, let us start. Like, so this is why this is very, very important question uh, is like, say for example, if you answer this question properly so that the interviewer will get to know that you have the real time experience because the people who are working in the <coughs> uh, uh, project or the framework it's uh, in the framework they only can able to answer these kind of a questions so these are all very very important questions so please please uh, pay attention to this so the very first uh, a challenge is that like you know uh, choosing the tools right set of tools and right set of approach design patterns to <coughs> design the uh, automation framework so first of all say for example if your organization does not have the automation setup so if you want to uh, set up the automation project so then that is where the real challenge uh, challenges comes into the picture in terms of like you know what are the tools that you have to select what are the technologies that you have to select and uh, what are the whether like you know your team uh, is having the thorough understanding of the technologies or not your team is capable enough to do the automation or not and also like uh, uh, the uh, budget so say for example if uh, uh, if it is a paid tool if it is a licensed tool so then if the company has to pay that so then it's a burden to the company also so that also by keeping that also in mind so by keeping all these parameters in mind so coming to the designing the framework so for example we can choose some of the open source uh, uh, technologies like selenium java testng and uh, maven project and uh, jenkins job we can use it and we can do that as well so if you want to know the framework building and all please do let me know in the comments down below i would love to make the video on the framework guys so it's like you know we can do it like selenium java and spring boot and uh, jenkins and github and uh, we can include ai also how can we build kind of a framework which is uh, feasible and stable uh, scalable uh, kind of a framework we can build it out okay so that is the one question so then comes like you know the biggest challenge after designing the framework uh, inside the framework what is the next challenge that we gonna come across is the test data guys like you know as a qa engineers we have to test our application in different different environments for example qa environment for example uh, staging environment for example uat environment for example production environment say for example when we are testing in each and every different applications so the test data for each and every uh, sites will be different so that is the reason managing the test data uh, is one of the uh, key thing uh, when you want to verify uh, your uh, test cases so that is very very important guys so that is the reason like what we usually do is like environment specific uh, properties file we used to create <coughs> and for that particular environment what are the sets of data we have to like you know keep it separately and we have to isolate them so we cannot like you know uh, keep it uh, saying that anybody can modify the uh, framework or anybody can modify the test data so not, not like that each and every environment specific test data should be isolated and they only that test data should be used for the testing so in that case the problem will be solved so that is about the <coughs> test data management so then one more issue even like you know daily uh, it's a day in and out issue guys so it is like synchronization issue or the flaky test cases every day we will be come across coming across these kind of an issues so this is like you know how do we uh, handle this say for example synchronization issue is like say for example browser or the web element itself does not load it on the web page but your selenium is trying to hit that particular button so obviously you will get uh, no such element exception right so in that case how do you uh, handle that one so that is the main challenge you have to use uh, the explicit weight and fluent weights so guys please please make sure that please do not use thread thread dot slip at all so nowhere it is recommended in the real time framework to use thread dot slip you have to use 
either explicit weight or implicit weight whatever the you weight you want to uh, utilize you can utilize the weights and then only you can use those weights are uh, using the condition weight with visibility of the element your element is interceptable or not element is clickable or not so by checking all those things <coughs> we can perform the actions so that is one of the uh, main challenge so then comes uh, sometimes uh, uh, say for example uh, every two years or three years or five years so there will be a change in the ui because the user experience has to be changed right say for example if you keep the old 10 years back ui nobody is going to prefer today so today is all about like you know user interface and they will keep changing the ui <coughs> in such situations all our uh, experts will get changed all our like you know the locating strategy will uh, like you know uh, all those things will uh, uh, drastically come down so all the locators will start failing so they will not be able to locate the element on the web page so in that case uh, what we have to do is like always make sure to uh, centralize your uh, locators and use the page factory properly and the page classes whatever you have written in those page classes always try to write the relative x path or css <coughs> instead of writing the absolute paths because absolute paths will change because if any of the node inside the uh, dump structure if it is getting changed so then all your uh, xpath will fail so you have to rewrite the xpath so obviously like you know all the time please make sure uh, to write the uh, to follow the best practices like uh, uh, writing the uh, what is that uh, relative xpaths and relative css and all so and also make the code a modular so i'll explain what is modular code which can be reused at any point of time so for example if you have multiple methods so you have to make use of the code modular and you have to split the methods so make the methods independent and you have to make them as make them in such a way that you have to be called from some other uh, methods wherever it is necessary so you have to structure the code in such a way that so that can be used anywhere across the <coughs> framework so then comes like you know continuous integration and continuous uh, deployment challenges there are multiple challenges with uh, <coughs> this kind of an uh, continuous integration issues let's like say for example if you have too many test cases executing in one go so definitely the your jenkins job is going to be uh, slow right so in that cases you have to make it as batch wise say for example uh, smoke testing uh, one batch and regression testing one batch and uh, the functional testing one batch so if you make all these things batches and if you make it as parallel so one after one batch after the another batch after the another batch will start executing it and also like you know while building <clears throat> while creating the jobs also you have to create in such a way that say for example uh, for uh, the ui test one one batch i mean sorry one job and for api tests it should be one job and for each and every uh, application say for example if our application is having uh, three different segments say for example payments and uh, uh, finance or invoice something like that clients and finance and something like that so each and every finance module should create one more one particular separate job for it so the uh, invoice it should be having its own job for it so whenever uh, the job has to run the best on the configuration and best on the requirement it has to run it on its own so that is how we have to design in such a way that so that should be the flow that is how it should work <coughs> so then comes like you know uh, api challenges are also there so there are so many times like you know apis will be failing so we will not be getting the data uh, in the in the right time at the uh, to perform some of the ui validations right so when we are performing the ui validations we need the data from the api to return back to the ui so in that cases how do you handle this kind of a challenges so what we have to do in this kind of a challenge in this kind of an environment is that first we have to run the api api test cases because uh, before running the ui test cases make sure that apis are up and running fine so then only run the uh, ui test cases because <coughs> api itself is failing so then there is no point of uh, doing the ui testing because there won't be any data in the ui so in those cases you have to put some kind of an uh, checklist so that first perform the api testing then perform the ui testing so then comes uh, like you know uh, test maintenance and 
code reusability so this one i have already explained so uh, make use of the whoops and make the code modular so that it can be accessed across all across the uh, framework so that will be uh, reduce the code duplication and code maintenance and code structure also it will be good so that is the reason uh, you have to use uh, uh, make the code as modular okay so so these are all the challenges and also one more thing uh, i wanted to add to this particular thing is that uh, you have to keep the logs uh, to for the better debugging purpose so because in production you cannot run uh, as you we run in the locally right so you have to keep the <coughs> log information to debug or if any test case fails we should be we should get to know that why it is failing and all so make sure all those things are taken care and also when it comes to the resource also so because like you know uh, even technical uh, resource also your team should also be capable enough to understand the technologies that is also one more challenge so how do you make them understandable is to provide the necessary assistance and uh, like you know whenever they are lagging wherever they are lagging you have to uh, provide them uh, the proper assistance and to make them uh, uh, to bring them up to the speed so you have to put all the necessary uh, knowledge transfer to them so then comes like you know after once the team start doing the automation so then it would be uh, very easy for you to uh, handle uh, the framework in the centralized system so you have to make the framework in such a way that anybody can contribute to the framework and they can just like you know fork the repository and start working on it so you have to make it that much simpler so you have to, you just because you know coding you cannot make it as too much complicated thing so make it simple anybody can understand and anybody can go through the framework and so that the new team members also can understand the code easily the one who is having the basic understanding of the coding so he should also be uh, capable enough to understand the code without any and also like <clears throat> one more thing i forgot to add add the comments for each and every block that you are going to write so this is going to helps a lot for the freshers and helps a lot for the person one who is joining newly to your team so that he will just by reading the comments he will understand what that uh, method does so that is very very important please make sure and keep all the coding best practices in your framework so that your uh, framework will be utilized more and reduce the manual execution time so that <coughs> you can bring the value to the testing and you can bring the quality to the application and you can bring the value to the organization guys so that's all guys so that's all i wanted to share with you if you like my content please hit the like button share and subscribe to my channel guys so that will motivate me to come up with new such interesting videos thank you thank you so very much guys